I appreciate this is a bit of a strange set here, but I'm out. I didn't expect the Glazers to respond to the fans forums request to get a response, given that they've only spoken to us, what, twice in 21 years, but they've responded. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm basically gonna read through the letter for the first time from Joel Glazer, react to it, give my own opinion on it. And I wanna hear what you think about it all in the comments below. This is gonna be a weird video. It's gonna be loud. There's gonna be people moving about, but I had to do this reaction because of where I am. Right, let's read it out. Dear fan representatives, thank you for your letter dated April 30th, sent in, in your capacity as representatives of Manchester United fans. I read the contents closely and love your passion for the club that came across, across very clearly. I hate the guy, man. I want to salute your service to the fans forum, which I know is a vital channel for consultation between the club and our fans. As I recently stated publicly, I'm personally committed to ensuring that we strengthen this relationship in the future. I mean, it's not really about strengthening the relationship. There's never been a fucking relationship. That's the issue, man. Your heartfelt letter. What is this? Dear Deirdre. Your heartfelt letter captured the unique spirit of Manchester United forged through decades of triumph, adversity and tragedy and still powerfully present in today's exciting team. Oh, blah, 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 blah. What is this PR bullshit? Personally humbled by parts of your letter as you explain so clearly why our initial support for the European Super League left you feeling angry and let down. I would like to reiterate my sincere apology for the mistakes that were made. Again, that's... This is a... What's he talking about? Personally humbled by parts of your letter. If he was personally humbled, he would have actually spoken to United fans before they went into the European Super League and we wouldn't have had this conversation in the first place. This is just a case of being caught and then apologising rather than the other way around. In particular, I want to acknowledge the need for change. With deeper consultation with you as our main fan representative body across a range of important issues, including the competitions we play in. We also recognise the importance of fan and football interests being embedded in key decision-making processes at entry level of the club. And we are open to constructive discussions on how to reinforce that principle. Constructive discussions on how to reinforce that principle is, I mean, I, again, I don't really know what he's talking about. It's all a bit, again, this is all just bullshit. All's just bullshit. It really, really is. I'm gonna keep reading it. We remain committed to working with a wider football community to make the game stronger and more sustainable over the long term. And we will now refocus our efforts on doing this within the existing structures of UEFA and the Premier League. In addition, I want to reassure you that my family and I care deeply about Manchester United and feel a profound sense of responsibility to protect and enhance its strength for the long term while respecting its very values and traditions. They're not selling. I mean, we all knew they weren't gonna sell. Well, I hate the Glazers so fucking much. It's, it's, it's obvious they're going to dig in. They dug in back in 2005 when we tried to stop them from taking over the club and they took over anyway. We tried to stop them in 2010 with the green and gold. That didn't work. And in 2012, we opposed the IPO. And in 2021, we're opposing this. But again, they're so sickly stubborn. They don't give a shit, really, what United fans think. Let's see. Let's see what else they have to say here. Our top priority and always will be competing for the most important trophies, playing entertaining football with a team comprised of top quality recruits and some of the world's best homegrown talent. Under Ole, we feel we are absolutely on the right track. Success on the field must be underpinned by solid foundations off it. We have supported sustained investment in the team over many years and that will continue over the summer. Right, they're, they're saying that they're going to make signings in the summer, but again, it's just, it, does it, of course it matters, but... We recognise that we will need to significantly increase investment in Old Trafford and our training complex to ensure that the club's facilities remain among the best in Europe. As part of this, we will consult with fans on investments related to the stadium and the match day experience. You know, you didn't need fans to fucking protest about this. It's obvious that it was needed for a long, long time. This is just a case of people who have been caught and apologising after the, after the fact. To highlight some specific points, as one of the few European football clubs listed on the public markets, we believe in the principle of fans owning shares in the club. We have previously engaged with the Manchester United Supporters Trust on fan share ownership, and we want to continue and accelerate those discussions, together with provisions to enhance associated fan consultation. We recognise that the government-initiated fan-led review of football is a positive opportunity to explore new structures for fan engagement and influence. 
I can assure you that we will willingly and openly engage in the review with the aim of putting fans at the heart of the game and ensuring their interests are advanced and protected. I mean, it depends if you want small victories. Small victories in this is the fact that the Glazers are now saying that, they, look, they're not going to ignore the fact that fan share ownership is actually something that people want and have wanted for a long, long, long time. And uh, the government forcing this issue? Cool. But United fans have been banging this drum for a long time. The Glazers have been aware of it. They just ignored it the whole time. It's just now they can't ignore it because it's a national sentiment. As I said, this is just a case of an angry letter coming out after the fact. That's just bullshit. Well, let's see what else we've got here. These commitments are a starting point for further dialogue, including all the specific points you've raised rather than the final proposals. We want to work together to come up with an ambitious package of measures which will transform our relationship with fans and strengthen the club for the long term. In this spirit, we will reach out to members of the forum to schedule a meeting in which I shall participate as soon as possible after the final game of the season. Thank you again for your work for the forum and your passion for the club. I look forward to meeting you. And in the meantime, let's look forward to a successful end to the season. With best regards, Joel Glazer, Executive, Co-Chairman and Director. It's just all bullshit, man. It's just hot air. At the very least, as I said, it depends on whether you want to take small victories out of this. Small victory is the fact that we've forced our chairman to, to speak directly to the fans. A small victory there is the fact that he's talking about fan share ownership and about fan involvement in the actual running of the club. Cool. But that's not enough. That's not what United fans want. We don't want the fucking Glazers here anymore. And the only reason they're doing this, as I said, they're apologising after they've been caught red-handed trying to steal our club away from us. And that's the only reason that this communication is coming out. Just get the fuck out. They won't get the fuck out. We knew that. We know that. But it doesn't mean that we're going to stop these protests and these protests, they won't change because of this. That's, that's what they're going to be hoping this letter does. That's the only reason they've responded to it with this letter because they're going to hope that it's going to appease fans. It's going to sort of quiet the discontent that's going on in the background, but it won't. So I'm sorry if that's what you expected from this Joel Glazer, but that's not what's going to fucking happen. For me, it's just... It's a load of guff. 50% of that letter didn't need to be written talking about decades of triumph, adversity, and just get fucked. PR bullshit. Talking about the European Super League, about li feeling angry and let down. Hmm. That's the understatement of the century. Talking about deeper consultation with fans from now on. That should have been the case since the very start and you would have avoided so many mistakes. They're talking about investment in Old Trafford and, and the training facilities. It's, you've never fucking done it. Carrington got a, a, Obviously, Carrington got investment, but Old Trafford hasn't. And you're only saying it now because you have to. I don't know what to... I, I actually, know. I know exactly what to make of it. It's bullshit. I don't believe a word of it. And why would I? 16 years of the Glazers has taught me not to trust them. But what's your opinion on this letter from Joel Glazer? Does it change anything for you? Do you think it will change anything going forward for Manchester United fans? When I'm actually at home and not stuck here in a fucking loud place, I'll do it in a bit more detail, but I had to get my reaction on this. So let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Take it easy. <laughs>